Are you both? Yes. No. Why is this game first person? Because it's the best perspective. In first person in the Great Circle, if you look down, can you see your feet? Yes. yes. What about your iconic chin scar? It's in there, but you can't see it in first person. Not even if you really... Not even if you really... What are the actions that pop you out to third person? Traversals. Whip swimming, ledging. How much longer would it have taken to make the game third person in months? About the same. <laughs> We've seen stuff like rolling pins and bottles. What are some other little objects that you can use in the improvised combat? Banjo, frying pans, fly sweater. How immersive simmy is the combat? Are there crazy interactions? A little bit immersive simmy, but we don't call it immersive simmy. Can you blow up barrels with the whip? No. What's that red line that's always chasing Indiana Jones around the world? Is it a big snake? Could be. Is there an upgrade to make the whip really, really long, or does it gradually get longer over the course of the game, like the scarf and journey? No, there used to be actually earlier, a long time ago in the design, you upgraded it. Do the punches make different sounds depending on whether Indy's wearing gloves or not? I want to say yes, <laughs> but my audio director might strangle me now. In the extended gameplay reveal, audio director Pete Ward said that Indy's greatest tool was his mind. Did he forget that Indy has a gun? No, he didn't. I think that the mind is still the greatest tool because it kind of informs the hand that holds the gun. That's a good point. Does Indy always have his revolver in the game? Almost always. Is ammo scarce? Is that an element of the gameplay? Yes. What other guns do you get to use? Is there a shotgun or anything? There are plenty of guns. You can basically equip yourself with anything that the opponents yeah. uh, have or drop. So are the other weapons part of your inventory or are they more improvisational pick them up, use them for a minute, drop them. Most of them are imp improvisational. That's a tricky word. But a few of them tied to their own to specific outfits that you can unlock throughout the game comes with their sidearm. Indy earns adventure points that help him level up and earn skills. So hurting people is an adventure to you. <laughs> it seems so. At the end of the game, is Indiana Jones conked on the head by a coconut so he forgets all his skills so he's not too overpowered for the movies? Oh, it's not a coconut. It's a... Uh, it's a... Flower pot. Lights water. Where is Temple of Doom in your Indiana Jones rankings? Oh. Is it near the top, near the bottom? No, it's closer to top than bottom, absolutely. Is Great Circle Short Round's older brother? <laughs> no. Does Indiana Jones's long lost brother Osmosis appear at any point? You have to play the game to find out the one else. What is the very hard difficulty like? Pretty hard. Is there a separate difficulty setting for puzzles? Yes, for it, we call it adventure difficulty setting. Okay, but that's separate from combat difficulty. That is separate from our action difficulty, which affects combat and stealth. Does the camera serve as a photo mode? No. Is there a photo mode? There isn't a photo mode. Can you take selfies with the camera? No. Hadn't been invented yet. <laughs> Taking photos adds them to your journal, right? Yes. Does it add the real photo the player took, or is it a general photo of the objective? It's the actual photo that the player took and we went to great length to get that working, almost to the point where we regret it, but it's, <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Did you know that famous scene in Raiders of the Lost Ark was actually improvised and that boulder was not supposed to be there? I didn't know that. <laughs> Did you know that Raiders started a proud tradition of filming something while you have dysentery that continues to this day? I didn't know that either. Is this the game Todd Howard pitched to Lucasfilm in 2009? Yes. Was his pitch generally kind of this type of Indiana Jones game, or did he have a specific big idea? Part of it is the, the, the overarching narrative with the Great Circle. So there's things about the pitch that we don't know yet that we'll find out by playing. Absolutely. Does Indy's character have an arc in this game? And does he ask people not to look at it? <laughs> no answer required, just an extremely humorous joke. Is it true there's a clumps-esque disguise mechanic in this game? A clumps-esque? I don't know what that means. What is the disguise system like? You can switch disguise at almost any point in the game. It's kind of up to you. Can you always fight your way out of stealth situations? Are there any instant fail ones? No instant fail ones. We believe in player agency. Will Indy have any stealth takedown lines as good as this one from Wolfenstein, The New Order? We had some very cool and humorous lines delivered as you club down enemies, that's for short. And we have a lot of that. The boulder scene we've seen in the trailers, is that a flashback or a similar new experience in a similarly creepy crypt? That's a spoiler we can't give you today. Very 
PR y. <laughs> How is the Boulder sequence gamified? Is it quick time events or running towards the camera like Crash Bandicoot? That's a spoiler we can't comment on. When Indiana Jones was first being brainstormed, his name was pitched as Indiana Smith. How bad would that have been? And do you think through the butterfly effect, you guys would be working on a John Carter game now instead? I don't know. It feels like a very different uh, parallel universe to me. In a preview write up of the game, Games Radar accidentally called him Indiana James. How do you respond? Nice. Double O something. If Indiana Jones drank from the Holy Grail in the Last Crusade, why did he age? Did he burp it up? Uh, I don't know. It only works with strong believers. Oh, faith issue. Settle a bet. What letter does Jehovah start with? Oh, it's not in the Latin alphabet, is it? These movies actually seem pretty cool. Can I get your Disney Plus login? Absolutely. I'll ping you later. Thank you. I'll trade you my freebie premium. Nice. <laughs> they made an Uncharted movie, and now you're making an Indiana Jones game. My question for you is, huh? It makes sense, right? As an Indiana Jones game, what are you bringing to that type of archaeological adventure game that's new? Indiana Jones, primarily. A little bit more puzzly, a little bit more exploration. You mentioned player agency. It's a very different experience. Can I pitch you an idea? Please. Okay, check this out. So you're climbing on something, right? And it starts to fall a little bit. Right? You'd be all like, whoa! You almost dropped the controller, right? Yeah! That'd be crazy. That's genius. Have you ridden the Indiana Jones ride at Disney? Yes. No. Did it inspire you at all, Yeah. Uh, it was a long time ago, but it was super cool, actually. It was one of my favorite rides. Are there any hidden Mickeys in the Great Circle, or are they all pretty obvious? Part of the disguise system. No, sorry. No comment. Xbox is partnering with IHOP for a promotional menu items, but they don't have a big pancake that's called the Great Circle. What gives? There's something else on that menu called Great Circle, I think. Yeah, there is. There is, but it's not the pancake, I think. But it's amazing. It's such a fantastic partnership. Yes. It's Delicious. very cool. I just wish we had IHOP here in Sweden to be honest. Uh, we don't, unfortunately. That's a false advertising then, international. Sorry, you don't have to comment on that, but that just sticks out to me. <laughs> what does the little loading screen icon look like? In this hat. Can I rotate collectibles in the menu? Not in the menu, but in the game. Is it okay to add fake questions to make our YouTube headline a more impressive number of questions? Absolutely. How are you? Fine. How are you? Great. Does this game have achievements? Yes. The last Indiana Jones game to be released was on Facebook, and it was called Indiana Jones Adventure World. The trailer urged you to grab life by the boulders. Would that have been the Great Circles marketing slogan if it wasn't already taken? <laughs> Are there boss fights? Yes. Are there any big guys that charge at you, but if you dodge, they hit the wall and get momentarily stunned? No. Part of that question is true. Part of it is not. Does Indy face any new animals we haven't seen him face before? Yes. Can you say what they are? No. Can you hit mammal, reptile? No. What percentage chance do you have it set at for each enemy to do the Wilhelm scream as they die? <laughs> the Wilhelm scream is a delicate one, right? Uh, I don't think it would be fair to have uh, Indiana Jones product without having it in there. Will any John Williams cues be in this game besides the main theme? The main theme is in there. You know what should be in there? Tell me. That counts as another question. His little saxophone Diddy that causes the avalanche in the Young Indiana Jones Chronicles? Have you seen that clip? I don't remember this one specifically. Lever puzzle. Sounds nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good puzzle design. Is there a scared of snakes setting the way there's an arachnophobia setting in Grounded? that maybe turns the snakes into little men. There is not. It's in the Anaeons. There needs to be at least one snake. Is there a day that comes to mind as the toughest day on the project? Yes. Do you want to talk about it? No. How long is the campaign? By far, this is the biggest and longest game that machine games have ever done. How many days does the game take place over? A couple of weeks. Do you feel like you're adding to the character of Indiana Jones? Are we going to be learning new things about him? Absolutely, yes, I would say. What's the deepest cut tidbit you learned about Indiana Jones in this process? That there was an avalanche and a saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a big moment. Do we get to see Indy's house? No. We get to see sleep, at least. I'll take it. How many hours total of cutscenes are in the game? It's roughly three hours and 45, 40 minutes or something along those lines. It's a lot. When does the game take place? 1937. Is the game broken up into named chapters? Locations. Does every region have linear and open areas or are some linear and some open? Some linear, some open. Aren't there any interesting artifacts in America? 
<laughs> well, you bring them there. Can you jump back to any location you've been previously? Yes. When people finish this game, they'll say, hmm, that was more blank than I expected. <laughs> that was more wow than I expected. Yeah, that was more awesome than I ever thought. Okay. The post-launch story DLC is called Order of Giants. Is the order from biggest to smallest? Yeah, we rank giants in order. Yes. That's that's the whole that's the puzzle in the, in right. the climatic all of the DLC. Oh, you're giving so much away. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sorry. Will the DLC continue the end of the game or be a separate side story? What we can say about the DLC at the moment is that it will be a very heavy narratively driven unique experience that fits in very good with main campaign. Indiana Jones's trademark hat is a fedora, which he wears with dignity and adds to his badass look. So why was I bullied for wearing my dress fedora to my teacher's funeral? I you See. forgot the wig. They, <sighs> they come together. Can you customize your hat with bands or feathers to show off to other players you encounter in the hub world? Absolutely. Great. No, <laughs> That's a huge. Oh, damn it. I thought I was really breaking something there. Video game voice actor Troy Baker plays Indiana Jones in the game. Did you know other people have voices too? No, he's the only one. He plays all of them. Does he capture Indy's grump factor? Absolutely. Not only that, but absolutely that. Genuinely, his Indiana Jones impression is really solid. Did he come ready with that? When he was in audition, he kind of uh, floored the competition with his uh, delivery. From the get-go, it was extremely impressive. So he did audition? Yes. Did Troy struggle with the idea of wearing a good hat? I don't know. I have to ask him next time I meet him. There's a skill in the game where after you're knocked down, you can crawl to retrieve your hat and it will bring you back to life and give you another chance to fight. Was that always agreed to be a good idea or did anyone have to fight for the inclusion of that? It was a great idea. It was a great idea. It's a good idea. Surprised a ton of people and a lot of people did ask like, is this really gonna work? And then we got it in and it really worked. Can you lose your hat in gameplay while remaining alive? No, you and the hat are the same. You're like- There's even the concept of hat health. Interesting. Can you tell me more about that? <laughs> <laughs> no. How many people in the future will fondly remember watching their dads play this? A lot of them, hopefully. Playing them together with their dad, yes. How many slippery surfaces do you slide down? Not too many. The, 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 the correct amount. Mm -hmm. The Swedish word log on, which means just mm -hmm. that. How many squeeze throughs are there? Oh, more than slippery slopes. Which is just right for squeeze throughs. Of course, yes. If you glitch out and fall through the world, can you use the whip to pull yourself back up? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Not. Does it make you feel like your company has a weird reputation that Todd Howard thought of you for this game? That he went, you know who's good at making Nazis? <laughs> we are typecast. Have you guys ever considered that the Nazis are just concerned about inflation? No. The thought hasn't struck me, no. What percentage of the Great Circle team worked on Wolfenstein 2? Percentage-wise, 47.3. Yeah, something around there. Do you think Indiana Jones knows he has catchphrases and some part of him is excited when he sees snakes and he knows he gets to say the snake thing again? Sure. Scale of 1 to 10, how supernatural do things get at the end of this game? We always try to make sure with this uh, product and this title that we stay very strict on the path of feeling like a genuine Indiana Jones adventure. With that said, the game is great. Play it. <laughs> find out. Okay. Yeah, the game's good, so why do you care if you're playing it anyway? <laughs> Goes for a lot of these questions, I think. Can you say the funniest line in the script that won't make any sense outside of context? Duck soup. Can I start you two off with anything to drink? Yes, please. What would you like? After this development, a couple of pictures of margarita would be nice. Okay, great. Absolutely. Pepsi okay? <laughs> yes. If you thought, hey, this video wasn't bad, well, there's a whole lot more like it on MinMax's YouTube channel. Please help us out by subscribing to our channel and checking out the MinMax Show podcast, also available on your favorite podcast app, the best, most thorough discussion about games on the internet with the deepest dive, our monthly community trivia show with prizes called Trivia Tower, and a whole lot more. Thanks so much for your support, everybody. All you gotta do is click that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it.